Hi everyone, this is Ryan and uh, for today's topic, I'm going to be talking about how long should I trade with a demo account. Alright, now I, I, I'm always of the belief that uh, demo trading is not realistic. All right, and uh, you should be trading on. Uh, if you want to trade, you should be trading on a live account. All right, but I also see the benefits of a demo account. Right, so a demo account is very useful, especially if you are a new trader or when you are testing out a new strategy. All right, so how long should you be trading on a demo account? If you are a new trader, I would say the maximum you should trade on a demo account would be about two weeks. All right, two weeks of trading on a demo account. So this and and when I say two weeks, I'm not asking you to do it from morning till night, right? Maybe about thirty minutes to an hour a day, right? Thirty minutes to an hour a day for two weeks should be sufficient. Now, what are you going to be doing this during these two weeks? You would want to get familiar with your platform, right? So for me, I'm trading on the MT4 platform. So I would advise two weeks of demo trading on the MT4 platform, right? Get to know the features and functions of the platform. How do I place the buy, a sell? How do I place a new order? How do I close the order? How do I modify the order? You know, move my stop loss, move my, move my take profits. How do I exit a trade? All right. And then, of course, I want to be testing a strategy as well, right? So you don't want to be just clicking buy or sell blindly, then you wouldn't be learning anything, right? So you want to be trading a simple strategy as well. So just practice trading with a simple strategy for about two weeks, and then I think you're ready to go live, all right? So when you go live, you don't want to be trading on a $10,000 or $50,000 account, right? You want to be trading on a small account, so you could trade with a $100 or $200 account, and then keep your lot size small. You know, you could trade down to 0.01 lot, where one pip is worth 10 cents, right? So if you're trading with a 20 pip stop loss, you lose $2. If you trade with a 50 pip stop loss, you lose about $5 in one trade and I think that's a very very comfortable loss for almost anyone who's interested to trade Forex all right? it's a very comfortable amount to lose per trade all right? and it's going to take you a very long time to, to, to go through to lose that hundred dollars or two hundred dollars capital you have in your account right of course I'm not saying that you should you will be losing everything right but as you are practicing you know as you are you, you know you're still a new trader you, you're still not very used to trading you don't want to add in the additional stress of trading with a ten thousand dollar or fifty thousand dollar or your whole life savings in the account right so you want to be trading with a small capital maybe hundred or two hundred dollars so that you don't have this stress that you know I'm, I, I can't lose all this money all right I think you should be able to afford to lose about hundred dollars when you're trading Forex otherwise I think you're probably in the wrong industry right or you should consider something else right or maybe you should save up more money more capital before you start trading forex all right so two weeks probably maximum if you're a new trader and what if you are you are trying out a new strategy right if you're testing out a new strategy it depends really a lot on what time frame you're trading right if you're trading the m5 m15 time frame then probably one week's worth of live trade would be sufficient right or demo trades would be sufficient before you move on to a live account and if you're trading a h1 h4 strategy you might need maybe two weeks to a month right or or alternatively you could do back testing right back testing and then for me maybe uh, you know, uh, about six months to one year's worth of trades and then you could trade on your live account right so please uh, you know what what at the end of the day what I want to say is that uh, please don't trade on your demo account for too long right because when you trade on a demo account it's not real money right it's 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 a uh, demo money right and you don't feel any loss when you lose it so a lot of traders can develop bad habits when you're trading on demo accounts for example uh, placing a trade without setting a stop loss right so if you do that on a demo account and you blow the demo account it's fine it's no loss to you right but if you do this but if you develop this habit and then you transfer it over to your live account then you could lose all your capital in just one bad trade all right okay so that's all for today's topic i hope you gain value from today's video and if you like my videos and want to continue watching my videos every day then please like my facebook page or subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you in the next video bye bye